Hello guys and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a checkpoint system that saves in Roblox Studio. First, go to Workspace, create a folder, and name this folder to Saving Checkpoints. In this folder, create a part and make this part look however you want because this is going to be the part that is going to be the checkpoint. Now make sure anchor is set to true and size it however you would like. Now name this part to one as this is going to be the first checkpoint. Now go to saving checkpoints, create a script and in the script paste the script I have in the pastement linked in the description. What this script does is it finds the player and every time the character joins the game, it finds the leader stats and then it finds the player in the workspace. Then it creates a function and this function responds the player at the part that is the value of the leader stats. Now we are going to go to server script service, create a script, name this script to leader stats and then paste this second script I have in the pastebin linked in the description. This is just a script that is has leader stats and data saving and it creates the stages. Now you don't really need to look at that as it's not very important, but now create a script in the first checkpoint and paste the third and final script I have in the pastebin linked in the description. Now, what this script does is when the player joins and touches the script.parent, which is the part, it finds the player in the players folder, uh, which is this right here. And then it finds the leader stats, and then if the leader stats that value is less than the number to, or to number, which converts this number, which is a string, into a number. So, in this case, it's just one so if the leader stats that stage that value is less than one then it's going to change the value to one that's basically how it works and if let's say you were on stage one and you wanted to go to stage zero one is not less than zero so it wouldn't do this so this is just to prevent people from losing their progress on the checkpoints now create more checkpoints just duplicate this and duplicate this but remember to name them one two and three that way the game does not get confused that is all you have to do to duplicate the checkpoints all right now that i have published the game we have to go to game settings go to security and enable api services or else it will not save now we can test the game and see if it works I join the game, I am on stage one. Now I am on stage one. I reset and I should respawn right there. As you can see, I have respawned and now I can go to stage two and then I reset and then I should respawn. Now, if I leave and then I rejoin as soon as I can, I should spawn right there on stage two. So now that my character is loaded in, I'm on stage two. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and got something important out of it. And I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Bye.